Alright guys, so I want to do a quick video about what is in my white coat. Okay, so this could vary depending on what rotation you are in. So when I was in surgery, I had different things throughout my white coat than what I do now in internal medicine. So this video will be directed to internal medicine and internal medicine only. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so for internal medicine, you're always walking around the hospital. You're crazy busy, running around, looking at lab results, looking at uh, different tests that you've been running, different CTs, MRIs, and you're running around like crazy. So, I think it's very important to only have essential things in your lab coat. Alright, so let's get to it. To start off with, the main thing you need right here. This necklace is what they would call in surgery. My surgery rotation, my attending did not want you ever wearing a necklace. So pro tip, if you're in surgery, do not wear this around your neck. All right, but in internal medicine, this is kind of the sign of medicine or of internal medicine. So you want to make sure to get your stethoscope. I'll put a link below with a, a link to this and to all my other stuff that I have. Now people will tell you, you might as well get the best one now instead of spending money on it later. And you know, that very well could be true. But for me, I don't have much money now, and so I did get a decent one, but I didn't get the best by no means. And when I have a larger income later, I'll be able to get a nicer one. So I wasn't too worried about that at that time. All right, let's go to this front pocket here. This little book here is a lifesaver. It is so good. Um, it's just a couple bucks on Amazon. So why this book is so important is because it kind of lays everything out for you as the ACLS guidelines, as the normal lab values for everything, the normal serum drug levels for all of it. It has ways to write different notes, which you'll be doing all throughout medicine. It teaches you how to write a history, a, history, a physical exam, a neurological exam, uh, it has dermatome maps. It literally has the shortcuts to anything you may need. So again, whoops, this, oh, and it has an eye chart for you. Uh, but this book is definitely one to get and to hold on to. Okay, so then we also have the stethoscope. All right, now my pins. All right, these two, uh, and they are the same type, which I'll put the link below. And these are probably my favorite pins for when I'm writing up on patients and things of that nature. They have a super fine point and they just write really well, okay? It is the Pilot Precise V5RT, all right? So I have a blue one and a black one because I write different things with them. I have, this is some pin I found, and now this pin, my Sharpie pin, this is on bleed proof pin, so I'll talk about what I use it for here in a minute. But these are the three main pins that I have in my front pocket at all times. All right, and I'll put links to all those as well. All right, and then the last thing in that pocket is just my pin light. Okay, so when you're doing a neurological exam or needing to see when you need to see people's pupils dilate, uh, you definitely need to use a pin light. All right, now we are going to go to this pocket here, and here we have. I have these, which honestly I haven't used these yet in medicine. These were mainly for surgery, but these are just some scissors to cut bandages and things like that. All right, and then I have a reflex hammer. Uh, this one isn't a fancy one, just your average, normal reflex hammer, just to test reflexes, you know. Uh, honestly, not sure why this is in my pocket, but it was in there for some reason. Uh, and then I have this notebook, so I have two different notebooks in my pocket at all times. I right, said so this one, which says internal medicine on it, was just a cheap notebook I got. And this is what I write all my history and physicals on. It's just a very cheap notebook that really doesn't matter too much that I write history and physicals um, on my patients, and then when I do my notes, I get rid of the papers, shred them, make sure that no patient information is on anything. And this notebook is a very important notebook that I will have all throughout my study time. And so if you look here, it has all my study notes for when I, it has all my study notes when I'm doing U World. So anything in U World which I may miss. Um, which is a question bank for med medical students w that I may miss. I take notes on it and then I use this to review every day when I may have a break. And you can see that I used this Sharpie pen, this non-bleed Sharpie pen to write my notes, okay? So it just doesn't bleed through the pages. It looks really nice. And yeah, so I have a notebook that I do your world with and any questions that I get wrong or information I didn't know, I put in this book so I can review it at any time I need. And I always keep that in my white coat so that if I do have time off during the day, I could study. All right. And then I use this Sharpie pen because it does not bleed. All right. That pocket is empty. Now we're going to go to this pocket. In this pocket here, I have one book and it is, I would say, the main book for internal medicine and it's so important. So we had the little Maxwell book and that's just a nice guide to help you get through writing notes and just different baseline things that you need. Um, set parameters. Now this book is 
full of information. The, pr the print in it is tiny, but it is full of everything you need to know. I have not been asked one question in eternal medicine that is not in this book. Okay, and so if you look, it says Brad T at the top. That is not me at all. I bought it off of Amazon. I got it for like 15 bucks maybe um, from whoever Brad T is. Brad T, thank you for selling me this book. Super cheap. There's no writing in it, and it's it's... And it's helping me a ton, so thank you for that. But this book literally has everything you need to know for medicine, okay? And it, the print is tiny, but it's just chock full of stuff. All right, so I would make sure to have this in your pocket at all times because you're a resident or attending. They're going to ask you about some disease or some treatment for something, and you'll have no idea. Well, you just go here, look at the cardiac section, look at heart failure, find out what you need to know for heart failure. So this book here, I'll post a link below. I highly recommend it. And get a used copy. I mean, you can buy a brand new one if you want, but I'm a poor medical student. I'm going to get the best deal I can. All right, and then the last thing, which I cannot show you guys because I'm – kind of recording on it is my iPad. I will say that my iPad, I have an iPad mini 2, so the older version of it is probably the best buy I've bought all throughout medical school. I don't know how I went through medical school without one beforehand. And I'm even someone that loves to take paper notes. I don't even like reading on a device, but it fits perfectly in my white coat pocket. So I put it in the same pocket as that one over there was. And it fits perfectly in that pocket and it has all my books on it. It has my surgery books, my internal medicine books, my pediatric books, pretty much any book you could ever need is on this device and also has UWorld. So if we have a spare 10 minutes in the day, a spare 20 minutes in the day, I could do UWorld questions and then annotate the ones I missed or the stuff I don't know back into this book. So all my study resources are in my white coat, so I'm all the time on top of my game trying to learn as much as I can. Because guys, remember, the more you learn now in your medical school rotations, the better doctor you're going to be. And not because you're going to get paid more in the future, not because you get a larger income, but because the better doctor you are today is the better you'll serve your patients tomorrow. So learn as much as you can. All right, guys, so that is literally everything I keep in my white coat, and that is all I've needed for internal medicine. Okay, I'll put links below. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, uh, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please comment below. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, I love you guys so much, and I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope that you guys are pursuing your dreams with endless love and relentless passion. Please do not give up. If it's getting tough, if it's getting hard, just hang on for the ride and keep going because it will be worth it. Okay, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And also, if you are a medical student and you keep something else in this thing, let me know. If I'm missing something that I need to have my white coat, comment below and let me know. All right, I love you guys. Have a great day.